Hi and welcome to another video about um, um, find out investment um, data and how to get data. Before we start, I would like you just to comment off what some um, subscribers and viewers asking me about uh, find out investment monthly data and quarterly data. I already published a video about um, monthly and quarterly data find out investment and I uh, explained that it's not easy to get data monthly and quarterly and if even if you find a monthly and quarterly data for FDI and and that's uh, something really difficult and um, that that wouldn't be the best case scenario because um, uh, foreign direct investment data is linked to uh, a balance of payments and the balance of payments um, um, needs time to get the data and correct the data especially collecting data about um, the components of balance of payment including foreign direct investment um, using service and there are also um, a gap between um, uh, when the data is ready and when data will be published and there will be other correct, uh, cor correcting surveys as well so uh, I also uh, made it clear that annual data for direct investment is the best um, case for um, let's say researchers looking for foreign direct investment data okay please I'll, I'll put a link of that video in the description please see that video for this video we'll have a look at um, Anchor data so um, to get into foreign direct investment data from Anchor, so you go to uh, data center and in data center just type FDI and search you got foreign direct investment and here you'll be able to choose um, let's say first let's choose the economy uh, to make sure that you're not highlighting everything choosing all economies and regions uh, that the, the, one of the advantages of um, Anktad um, database is, is allowing you to look at not only individual countries also a block of countries and that's really beneficial like for example now we don't need individual countries so uh, minimize that world uh, maybe another video will do sub-Saharan Africa but not today you have Africa you have Northern America and Europe ah, yeah so today we'll look at um, we'll look at um, Central and Southern Asia so just have a look uh, we're looking at these countries in terms of uh, foreign direct investment uh, so I'm, I'm not saying these countries are comparable because of the size of the economy uh, but we're looking at that as a block of countries okay so first highlighting what regions we need to uh, get uh, now you could see that we have um, 16 rows so in this case that what we have here and then let's select years now so we have 1970 until nineteen seventy into uh, twenty twenty. So that's uh, that's acceptable. Uh, actually, that's good. If you have all data, no missing data. Um, now direction inward outward we're not interested in outward we're interested in onward we have also the measure so now now you have a few options so you have us dollars at current prices millions so you have us dollars at current prices per capita you have percentage of uh, total world you have percentage of gross domestic product uh, percentage of gdp you have percentage of gross fixed capital formation so it depends on your research needs so which one will suit your research needs and remember that if you're doing a modeling you need to um, have that in line with other variables 
so um, if you're using other variables like um, as a percentage of GDP is better to take the percentage of GDP gross domestic product now for the, the sake of what we're doing in terms of just getting clue about foreign direct investment I'm going to use um, US dollars at current prices in millions and uh, we have also the mode we have flow uh, and stock so it's just a stock talking about the accumulated foreign direct investment and you see here the definition saying FDI stock is the value of the share of capital and reserves including retained profits attributable to the parent enterprise plus the net indebtedness of affiliates to the parent enterprises it approximated it is approximated by the accumulated value of past fdi flows so in this case we see that stock is not relevant if you're looking at the annual data of fdi to see how this changes in line with other variables so in this case we're not looking at the accumulated value of uh, fdi we're looking at just the flow so we're not interested in stock now we've got our table ready now if i say press show table now you've got all countries and then you have the total should be for central and southern asia yeah and you look at direction onward the measure us dollars at current prices uh, in millions now you'll see that we don't have data for all countries yeah we don't have data for all countries uh, you see so far we have India Iran uh, uh, we have also maybe if you go a little bit to the look at more recent data you maybe you will find more data for some countries because uh, maybe some countries uh, were not engaged in UNCTAD or let's say uh, having um, let's say proper reporting or surveys in terms of foreign direct investment um, okay so we have in some countries you see when we talk about in the last 10 years you see that we have more data in relation to foreign direct investment now um, what we need to do now now uh, we need to click on Microsoft Excel download data as a table download save and let's have a look okay so you can see here this is how the table looks like so if you look at uh, uh, countries included yeah uh, so you will see that in the last 10 years we have more reporting of, of foreign direct investment in most of the countries um, I remember that if you have missing data you need to refer to how we handle uh, missing data uh, also in terms of um, maybe converting data so there is no way actually to convert data from annually to monthly or quarterly in relation to FDI so some someday was asking me there's no way because um, you cannot just assume that uh, the average will do unless you have some values about monthly or quarterly in this case you can't forecast forecast what could be on monthly or quarterly basis but if we don't have that we have the data annually that would not help you anything if you're going to use the data for modeling because if you use like um, an average if you divide like um, uh, the value the, the annual value into 12 months or let's say um, um, the, the the yearly data into four quarters so that that value is going to be the same yeah across the quarters or across the months so in this case that will not do you anything in modeling okay so 
uh, once you've got data you try to look at um, ways to compare data maybe if you have some values missing uh, maybe as i said in previous videos you can look at these kind of data in other global bodies databases or you could go uh, nationally at that specific country and look at some of their publications or reports about foreign direct investment and then you try to compare data and maybe fix uh, 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 bridge the gap in terms of this data but remember that um, it's, it's very important to be consistent in relation to the source and not mix and match especially if you notice differences maybe the method of calculating um, uh, foreign direct investment uh, may be different or maybe not really updated maybe the one with the anchor is the most updated remember that if they do the data annually there will be uh, later on correction uh, correcting surveys to 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 see uh, maybe uh, fixing or updating the numbers uh, um, later on so so it's very important to to be consistent and uh, uh, filling the gaps in data yeah um, I hope this video is um, beneficial and um, let, let me know if you have any questions thank you so much